In part two of complex numbers, we looked at defining how to add and subtract and multiply complex numbers. We looked at the multiplicative inverse. So now we're just going to look at some examples on using all of these skills. So just to summarize, what we've seen is the addition. So if I've got a complex number Z equal to A plus IB and W equal to X plus IY, this is how addition and multiplication is defined. We looked at the multiplicative inverse. Now we're going to look at an easier way to deal with the concept of multiplicative inverse. I will show you shortly. And that comes from one of the properties we got with the complex conjugate. And if you remember the complex conjugate, these do not really have to be in brackets. The complex conjugate is just a minus IB for Z and for W is X minus IY. So we're going to look at these, use these formulas. We're going to look at some actual examples. So firstly, let's say Z equal to minus 4 plus 3I and W equal to 6 minus 2I. So if I look at Z plus W minus 4 plus 3I plus 6 minus 2I, that's very straightforward. We can add the real parts and I get 2 minus I. Oh, 3I minus 2I is 2 plus I. All right. Similarly, Z minus W, what that actually means is add minus W to Z. But in practice, we're doing the, what we intuitively want to do, minus 4 plus 3i minus 6 minus 2i, which gives us minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10. 3i plus 2i is 5i. All right. Multiplication, z times w minus 4 plus 3i times 6 minus 2i. And when we looked at multiplication, we said there is a formula. We can either just use the formula or multiply the brackets out as we know it algebraically, but they come down to the same thing. So this is the same as the real part is this one times this one. So it's minus 24 and this one times this one. So that makes up the real part because I've got 3i times minus 2i. So the 3 times the minus 2 gives me minus 6. Then I've got minus 6i squared. We know i squared is minus 1. So minus 6 i squared is just plus 6. So that's the real part. And then the imaginary part is the minus 4 times minus 2i is 8i plus the middle term. So it's 18i. So we can tidy that up. And that is minus 18 plus 26i. There we go. So that's the product. So let's look at z divided by w. That's the same as saying z times 1 over w. So if I go back to the previous page, we can use this formula to calculate the multiplicative inverse of w. But we're going to use this technique. And let me show you. Now you can use them, calculate the multiplicative inverse and use that. You'll see you get to the same answer. But this technique makes it, makes it a bit easier. So we're going to look at z over w, and to simplify it, we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator with w's complex conjugate. So let me show you why, because it works out quite nicely. So let's just write that out. I've got minus 4 plus 3i divided by 6 minus 2i. Now, we don't have a definition for division. Like we say, it's just multiplied by the multiplicative inverse. But what we're going to do, we multiply top and bottom, numerator and denominator, with 6 plus 2i. 6 plus 2i. So we're just multiplying with 1, so that's perfectly legal. But what happens, and let's look at the denominator first. The denominator becomes 36 minus 4i squared, so it's plus 4, minus 12i plus 12i. So the imaginary portion is 0. So I have a real num number in the denominator, which is very nice. So my numerator then becomes minus 24 minus 6 because it's plus 6 i squared so it's minus 24 minus 6 so it's minus 30 let's just check yes and then the imaginary portion is 18 i minus 8 i so 18 minus 8 is 10 i so let's just tidy this up. My denominator is 40. So this is just minus 3 over 4 plus 10 over 4. So that's five, oh, 10 over 40. Sorry, 10 over 40 
So 10 over 40 is 1 over 4i. And that's how we get around calculating the multiplicative inverse. We just multiply numerator and denominator with the complex conjugate of the denominator. All right, so let's make it a little bit more interesting. 4z, now you've got a gut feel, I guess, of how to multiply that number z by 4. But let's look at the definitions we have. We only have a definition for multiplying two complex numbers. But if you think of the number 4, it's the same as number 4 plus 0i. So if I multiply that with 3 minus 2i, we're going to get what your gut feel led to. 12 plus 0, so it's 12. 0 minus 8i. 12 minus 8i. And that's what you would get if you multiply both parts of z by 4. So the gut feel is right, we just multiply by 4 throughout. So if I want to calculate 3z plus 2w, that is just 3 times 3 minus 2i plus 2 times minus 2 minus i, which gives me 9 minus 6i minus 4 minus 2i, which is 9 minus 4, which is 5, minus 6i minus 2i is minus 8i. All right. And the next one, z plus w divided by w. All right, there's two ways of doing it. I'm going to do it just by brute force, the way it stands there, z plus w. So if I've got z plus w, I've got 3 minus 2i plus minus 2 minus i divided by w is minus 2 minus i. All right, so let's first sort out the numerator. We've got 3 minus 2 is 1, minus 2 minus i is minus 3i divided by minus 2 minus i. So yet again, we've got a division, so we're going to use the same technique. Multiply the numerator and the denominator with the complex conjugate. Minus 2 plus i over minus 2 plus i. All right, I'm going a little bit faster now because we've done a couple of multiplications in the numerator. I'll get minus 2 plus 3 minus 2 plus 3 because it's minus 3i times i squared. So I've got minus 2 plus 3 is 1. Then the imaginary portion is 6i plus i, so it's plus 7i. Everything divided by 4 plus 1 is 5. So I've got 1 over 5 plus 7i over 5, or 7 over 5i, whichever way you want to see it. And there we go. It's good to practice these things. So, of course, there are shortcuts. These calculators can, can do it for the you, but if you want to know how it's done, this is how it's done. So, last two questions. In this case, z is 3 minus ai, and w is minus 2 minus bi. All right, so my handout calculator is not going to help me with this one, but let's find zw. It looks a little bit different. We don't have real, the actual values, but we treat it the same way. And we get minus 6 plus ab i squared, so it's minus 6 minus ab. And then plus i times 2a minus 3b. So there we go. All right, we can't do anything else with that because we do not know what the values of a and b are. So our last question. We're given z and w. U we're given in, given in terms of x and y. We say The question says, if zw minus zu is equal to w, what is u? All right, a mistake that can happen is if you start substituting z and w into this and u with the x and y's, straight into that equation, because then things get a little bit messy. But let's play around with this equation. We've got zw minus zu is equal to w. That means that zu is equal to zw minus w. That means u is equal to zw minus w divided by z. All right, so on my right-hand side, I've got the unknown, and on the left-hand side, I've got known. So let's use it, that formula. So we've got minus 4 plus 3i, z times w, 4 minus 2i, minus w, which is 4 minus 2i, everything divided by z, which is minus 4 plus 3i. All right, this one takes a bit of work. My first term there, multiply it out. You can check. Minus 16 plus 6 is minus 10. And yes, I'm going a little bit faster. You can pause if you want to check and work it out yourself. 
then I've got 12 and 8, which gives me 20i. 4 minus 2i, I don't do anything with that or with the denominator yet. Okay, so that gives me minus 10 minus 4, which is minus 14. 20 plus 2 is 22, plus 22i, divided by minus 4 plus 3i. So what do we do to sort out this division? We multiply the numerator and the denominator with the complex conjugate of the denominator, minus 4 minus 3i. So that gives us, I like doing the denominator first because it's a whole number, that's 16 plus 9, so that's 25, and my numerator will become, that number's getting a bit big, 14 times 4, 22 times 3, we've got 122, plus i times minus 46. All right, so we can rewrite that as 122 over 25 minus 46i, or you can have times i over 25, or you can have plus i times minus 46 over 25. It doesn't matter where that minus is sitting as long as your notation is right. So that's some actual calculations using multiplication, addition, and division, or multiplying with the multiplicative inverse of complex numbers.